Now you can see it says uncirculated Eisenhower silver dollar coins. Now all the silver coins for just specifically the Eisenhower dollar are always going to have the S mint mark, San Francisco minted coins. You can see there to the right, they really didn't make that many. So there are awesome coins to come by if you're at a coin shop or something and you uh, happen to go through the 40% silver bucket. I definitely always grab a hold of those and keep those because you can see they only made 6.8 million, 2 million, 1 million, 4 million. So they definitely are low mintage coins. But if you look there at the top of the screen, the 1977, 77Ds, they produce, you know, 30 million, 25 million, 33 million, and those coins are not silver. Now, I have done videos in the past of what errors to look for on Ike dollars, so definitely be checking that video out. All you guys gotta do is go to the playlist on my channel, go to dollar coins worth money, and you guys will be able to watch those videos. So if you wanna pause the video here and see which ones are silver, which ones are not silver, feel free to do so, but let's move on and check out some of these awesome coins. All right, so first up is a 1977 Eisenhower dollar coin. Now what makes this coin valuable is that it, it was actually struck on a 40% silver planche and that's why it weighs 24.9 grams so obviously you could tell by looking at it if you're familiar with coins if the coin is silver or not however if you want to weigh it that will help verify whether it is silver or not now the 1977 D is not supposed to be silver it's only supposed to be clad so this coin being struck on a silver planchet is what gives the coin value now this dollar coin sold for over twelve thousand nine hundred dollars Next up is an example of a high graded 1976 Eisenhower dollar coin. Now this is a type one. I have done an Eisenhower dollar video where I explained the difference of type one and type two. So make sure you guys check that out. I'll put it at the end of this video. Now this coin here sold for over $7,600. Now just something interesting to look for on the 1971S San Francisco minted Eisenhower dollar coin. You wanna look for the R that is on the right side of the screen there. Basically, it's like missing the serifs. So the serifs are the two little things. If you look there in the left hand corner at the R, and you look at the top left of the R and the bottom left of the R, those are the serifs. Now the left image is what it was supposed to be like. The right image is missing the serifs because of over polishing. It's basically called the peg leg. So it's over polishing of the die that's left the letter R in Liberty without its serifs. Always be on the lookout for that. Like I said, get a cheap little coin USB microscope. You can get them on couchcollectibles.com. Link is in the description of this video and you will be able to see your coins up close like this. Another thing to look for on the 1971S is an RPM, a repunched mint mark. You can see that this mint mark has been repunched and that will give the coin value. So definitely be looking out for those. Now on the 1972 Eisenhower dollar, you want to look on the reverse for doubling taking place on the stars. If you look there close at the stars, you can see that they are doubled. Like I said, get the cheap USB coin microscope and you guys will be able to see stuff like this. Next up is a 1974S. This is a silver Eisenhower dollar, and this is a very, very high graded coin, pretty much almost as high as you can get. The grading scale only goes from one to 70. This is at a mint state 69, and that's why it is extremely valuable. This dollar coin sold for over $9,700. Now just to show you a lower graded coin, this is a 1971, it's not silver, however it does have a double die reverse on the back of it. So there's doubling taking place on the back of the coin, however it is not an extremely valuable coin. This coin here only sold for over $15 but it's also not a mint stated graded coin. So it's at an about uncirculated 55. Now if this was at a MS68, obviously it would sell for a lot more money. Hey guys, don't forget to go click the videos over there if you wanna watch the other Eisenhower dollar videos. And until tomorrow, I will see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.